There's a lot happening in the world of electric cars. And who is always leading the charge? Pun intended. Tesla, of course. We want to talk about the Giga Factory 3 expansion and the Giga Factory 4 progress, then about the full self-driving sneak peek, and also about the new Tesla patent of the 1 million mile battery. And then about the Model 3 pricing in China and the very first deliveries. And of course we want to do some cool predictions for Tesla for this amazing new year 2020. Regarding other companies, we want to take a look at the status of the Biden M-Byte, the VW ID3 and the Polestar 2. Will they be able to ever catch up to Tesla? Let's find out. First of all, we wish you a happy new year 2020. 2020, wow, this really sounds like the time setting for an 80s sci-fi movie. We are pretty sure that 2020 will be an amazing year for electric cars, for spaceflight, and for the advancement of technology in general. For Tesla, we will see the Model Y going on sale, and the first Tesla semis be delivered by year's end. We expect over 500,000 Tesla cars sold in 2020, maybe even 600,000, and a sharp rise of all sold electric cars worldwide in general. We expect the completion of the Mark III prototype and its first test flight. For transportation, we expect huge progress with the Boring Company Loop system, which is currently already being built in Las Vegas. And also for the Hyperloop, where we will see quite a few tracks starting construction. We will also see Neuralink beta testing in 2020. And we also expect some major progress with regard to flying drone taxis. It will be an amazing year. Sci-fi stuff is becoming more and more reality. So then let's start with Tesla. Now the Tesla stock is continuing to make new all-time highs as we speak and the Tesla shorters are feeling the brutal pain. We have to admit that we have a bit of schadenfreude as you would say in Germany, but hey, it's their own fault for betting against innovation and betting against new disruptive technology. Maybe they will learn not to short Tesla again, but hey, Let's be realistic, probably at six or seven hundred dollars, they will think again, wow, now is again a very good time to short the Tesla stock, right? And of course, Tesla is poised to rise even more because the company is expanding like crazy. Now in China, we of course have Giga Factory 3, which is already completed and has already started to produce Model 3s. And the first deliveries of these Model 3s have incredibly already started to take place. On the 30th of December, the first batch of Model 3s have actually been delivered to Giga Factory 3's employees, with the first customer deliveries to follow later this month. But what is even more interesting is that Tesla has now received a 1.4 billion US dollar worth of loan from Chinese banks in order to help with the expansion of Giga Factory 3, so that the Model Y can be produced as soon as possible and the ramp up to 150,000 Model 3s per year can be accomplished as soon as possible, probably by 2021. Now we expect the Giga Factory 3 to produce 500,000 cars per year by 2022 at the latest, with the larger part of them being Model Ys, a car that is expected to sell even better than the Model 3. And meanwhile, China-built Model 3s have been exempted from taxes, therefore the price has dropped even more now, down to an entry price of 328,000 yuan. So around 46,000 US dollars. Still quite a lot more than in the US, but at least 3% cheaper than before the tax exemption. And meanwhile in Germany, preparations for Giga Factory 4 are well underway, with the Brandenburg State Minister of Economics, Jörg Steinbach, expressing that he is certain that the deal between Tesla and German authorities is 95% secure. But to finalize the deal, the approval of the Brandenburg State Parliament Committee is still needed, expected to happen by the 9th of January. Land surveys have already been conducted, where the surveying teams also have been tasked to scan for possible World War II bumps in the area. Because you know, Germany wasn't always as friendly as now, and that there was this conflict here where the evil guys were defeated. But we still have many hidden bumps here from that war. In Munich where we live, for example, 
The last big one was exploded under controlled conditions back in 2012. So back on topic, Gigafactory 4 will produce around 500,000 cars per year after the ramp-up, with even 750,000 as a maximum number. That's just insane. Taking all future Gigafactories into account, Tesla will potentially sell more than 2 million cars per year by 2023 or 2024. But that's of course not disruptive enough for our boy Elon. So Tesla is working hard on their robot taxi plan in order to also totally disrupt Uber, Lyft, Waymo, taxis, and so on, you know. Of course, everyone said that robot taxis by the end of 2020 are absolutely impossible. Well, now Tesla is rolling out their full self-driving sneak peek preview to selected customers with FSD Hardware 3. The car can now detect traffic lights, stop signs, traffic cones, and is basically getting ready for being able to drive through city traffic on its own. It has reached a FSD feature complete state, and we assume that after one year of beta testing, FSD will be indeed ready by the end of 2020, early 2021 at the latest. The newly released patent Data Pipeline and Deep Learning System for Autonomous Driving describes how the learning capabilities of neural nets can be accelerated even more. So a full self-driving robot taxi by end of 2020 is indeed absolutely possible. It's funny how the naysayers always keep saying that this or that is impossible, yet Tesla every time proves them wrong. Oh yes, and the 1 million mile battery is now becoming a real thing soon to be produced in mass. And we also have some battery energy density breakthroughs on the horizon thanks to Maxwell's dry electrode fabrication process, of which we will learn more on the Battery and Drivetrain Investors Day in the coming months. So everything is looking perfect for Tesla. But how is it looking for the competitors? Well, for one, we have Byton, of course, that has its factory in Nanjing now pretty much completed. However, for reasons we don't fully understand, they keep pushing back the production start of the Byton M Byte more and more. Now, initially, the car was set to launch in China by the end of 2019. This date has now been pushed back to around June this year. Now, we don't know exactly what's going on there, but we just hope they don't pull a Faraday future on us. Now, that would be sad because we really think that the Byton M Byte has some really high potential as a future electric car. So let's see how things will develop with Byton, but the way it's going now, it seems that Byton won't be any competition for Tesla anytime soon. Then we also have the Polestar 2, a highly interesting Model 3 competitor, which we had the chance to check out on the Frankfurt Motor Show this year ourselves. Now with an entry price of 298,000 yuan, it will be a bit cheaper than the entry level Model 3. Production start in China is expected in the first half of 2020, the rest of the world then soon to follow, probably later this year. The car has a standard Android version running as a UI interface, which is pretty cool we have to say. The top version has a 78 kilowatt hour battery capacity and allows for 150 kilowatts of charging speed. Now the Polestar 2 launch edition range of 275 miles sounds also pretty good to us. However, will this car really be a dangerous Model 3 competitor? Absolutely not. Because according to Chinese sources, they will only be able to produce 50,000 cars in the next two to three years. That is 50,000 cars in the entire span of the next two to three years, not 50,000 per year. So the production volume of this car will be so much lower than the production volume of the Model 3 that we think the Model 3 won't have any real competitor for quite some time. The Model 3 even doesn't have any real competition in Germany with the upcoming ID3, which in itself would be quite an interesting Model 3 competitor. However, VW seems to have some software problems with the car and production numbers will be very low in the beginning anyways, with only about 30,000 to maximum 40,000 cars to be built in this new year. With these low production numbers, the Model 3 will still have no real competition for this whole new year. None. 
And we actually even doubt that there will be any real competition for Tesla regarding electric cars in the next 5 to 10 years. Because with the way Tesla is advancing, we have the strong suspicion that the gap between Tesla and the other manufacturers will actually be increasing in the next 5 to 10 years. In any case, this new year 2020 will be a highly interesting year regarding electric cars. So will the competition ever be able to get closer to Tesla? Or will Tesla just keep increasing their lead? I mean, how can the competition ever expect to overtake Tesla with such low production numbers? And do you think that we can see robot taxis on the road already by the end of this year? I really hope so. So as always, let us know what you think about this in the comment section. And if you have enjoyed this video here, feel free to check out our other episodes on the channel. And if you, contrary to any logic, still happen to like them, we would be of course very happy if you would subscribe. So we wish you a very happy new year. Absolutely, it will be an amazing year for technology and for the advancement of humanity. See you in the next episode. See you.